In this video, I show you how I catch and cook small polyp for a Mediterranean fish stew dish that I have at home in my Instant Pot. When I go kayak fishing, I spend the first part of the trip trying to catch bait fish using a sabiki rig on one of my fishing rods. And on this day, I caught a lot of small pollock. You know, I'm usually trying to hunt for live mackerel because I've had a lot of luck catching keeper striped bass with live mackerel. And you can use um, small pollock as bait as well, like I'm doing here in this scene. However, I've never really had any luck catching striped bass with small pollock. I don't know, maybe the striped bass just doesn't like, maybe they just, they just don't like the taste of the small pollock and they prefer mackerel better, but I've just had better luck with, with uh, live mackerel. On this day though, I caught no live mackerel and it was just a small pollock day. I ended up catching 16 of this small pollock. So I'm gonna honor the fish and take it home and fillet them and cook them in my Instant Pot. Now these fish are really small, so you, you have to put a lot of work filleting them. You know, it's not a lot of meat, but when you catch this many um, small pollock, it, it ends up being quite a lot of meat actually. So, you know, it's a lot of work, don't get me wrong. You have to, you know, cut the fillets and then cut the bones from the rib cage. There's also some small bones on the side of the fillet, which you kind of want to cut off with a little V, like I'm doing here in this scene. But at the end of the day, you'll have like a bowl full of fish. Um, you know, it gets a little messy, so, you know, wash down all the meat before you put it in the stew. And then now here I am on my Instant Pot. You know, the great thing about the Instant Pot, if you can start sauteing things like onions and garlic, uh, I'm actually following a recipe from the Instant Pot website. It's called Mediterranean Fish Stew. So you add tomatoes, uh, zucchini, peppers, and potatoes, anything you really want to add into it. And then you add a cup of chicken broth, salt, pepper, and some paprika. And what you want to do is um, cook the, the, the soup without the fish for about five minutes. Uh, I'm using the soup broth setting. So, you know, it cooks it really quickly. You know, it's basically, you could do this in your um, normal pot and that would take some time, but it goes quicker in the Instant Pot. Now, after you're done, release all the steam and then you add all the, the meat to the, the soup, which is already hot. So here it is before I cook it in its final stage of cooking. And here I'll cook it for another eight minutes using the, the soup slash broth setting on the Instant Pot. There you go, it's that easy. And uh, this, this uh, Mediterranean fish stew is really easy in the Instant Pot. Um, it's got a lot of flavor. You can mix and match all the ingredients. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like, comment, or subscribe. This dish was delicious. Try it out. Thanks.